hey what's up guys how you guys doing today welcome back to the channel so in today's video we're going to be doing an engine bay cleaning on my 2000 lincoln town car so i got uh this fabric refreshener because the car stinks in here um i'm gonna have to get one of those little things to spray in here for cigarette smoke it doesn't smell like cigarettes but it just stinks um got some glass cleaner because all the windows need to be cleaned um, I don't know if I'm going to use this today or not and film it. Um, I want to clean up the carpets because there's stains everywhere. There's actually mold, or not mold, but moss or something like that. Grown over there, it's green. But I want to spray that down with some bleach. And the best stuff to ever use on any stain ever is LA's Totally Awesome. If you guys don't believe me, go to the dollar store, pick a bottle up. It's only a dollar. Get the spray bottle. And uh, go ahead and use it on the stain. I guarantee it'll take it out. I don't know about Kool-Aid stains because it wouldn't take a Kool-Aid stain out of my, the carpet in my Honda. But any other stain, it'll take it right out. Even oil, all that. So we're going to put that to the test. But that'll be for a different video, um, stain removal. But I want to start with the bleach because if you guys seen the video that I just posted up like 20 seconds ago, you guys will see how bad the engine bay is. So let's go ahead and get started with this video. So this is the engine bay. As you guys can tell, this thing is just caked with oil. Right here's a little spot that I cleaned yesterday. I also cleaned this right here, but you can barely tell it. I mean, you can tell it on camera because right here is where I stopped at. Like this whole area is clean, but this thing is really dirty. So because there's rust, I want to get rid of that rust. And I'll probably end up having to paint this whole piece a different color because there's rust everywhere. And actually, I can tell that this thing was in an accident because... Whoever put this fender on didn't do it right because they put the bolts clear over here. That's not how you're supposed to do it. So yeah, the bolts, you can actually see like a slight little ring right here. That's where this washer needs to sit at. So I'm going to have to align that. That'll be for a different video. So also going to be polishing the headlights. That'll be a different video. But yeah, um, I put some armor all on this yesterday and just look at the difference. Like that's just barely touched and that little square thing but yeah uh, I don't know what I'm gonna start with because it's all like really dirty I don't have any paint brushes that I used in the other videos if my mom finds this video she's gonna kill me because this is her favorite towel it's purple and it's about to be white because this is bleach <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and begin All right, you guys, so I'm just going to spray it on here and let it soak in because spraying it and then wiping it right off is not doing anything. I mean, barely any. But uh, I can tell that this thing has either been in an accident or somebody was tinkering around with it that didn't know what they was doing because this little hole right here is all dented up and like deformed. So I'm going to have to take a hammer and flatten that down. And uh, there's rust everywhere. There's this is poked up like that i'm sure that's not supposed to look like that from the factory the fender everything so i'm wondering if this thing was in an accident the hood's not really bent so i don't know alternator looks new well the, the pulley does the guy said that it has a brand new belt on it surfer team belt so hopefully you know that's true but look at all these leaves this is the thing that i want to get to you next because this right here could be a fire hazard you want to make sure you get rid of all of the dead leaves from underneath your engine because that right there could spark a fire and your car would be burned down so i want to try to figure out how to get this cover off and remove all the leaves that i possibly can and uh yeah i don't have compressed air or a vacuum or anything like that i'm just going to be picking it out with my hands let's go ahead and get this engine cover off just made a nice little discovery I'm not going to touch it but I think that's fiberglass it could be spider web okay is that a spider web okay never mind I thought that was like fiberglass I thought this thing was cracked but yeah look at all these leaves man I wonder how long this car has set before they decided that they was going to post it up for sale like I bought this car yesterday 
or really cheap, but dang, dude, <laughs> that's a fire hazard. So let me go ahead and put the camera down and pick all this crap out real quick. I'm just gonna have to take this thing to the car wash and suck it all out with the vacuum because that is a lot and when you touch it, it just crumbles because it's so old and brittle. But let me go ahead and clean it off the, uh, the windshield cow so that way no more leaves blow in. I wanna try to get as many as I can by hand and with this thing, this thing ain't really doing much. But uh, I wanna try to get them all as much as I can by hand. I don't know how much of it I'm going to film because it's going to take up a lot of time. Like we're already at almost three minutes now. So uh, let me go ahead and clean this up and then I'll get back on the motor. The engine, my bad. This intake tube has to come off. So this air box is not even really connected. Let me show you guys. top is up there so I'm just gonna go ahead and abandon the idea of trying to clean this off because that's gonna be a whole lot of work and if any leaves get inside the intake that's gonna be a nightmare so I'm just gonna wait to take this thing to the car wash and suck it all out with the vacuum because I don't want to have this engine explode because uh leaves so yeah don't drive your car if you have leaves in the engine bay if you can't get to them. So anyway, back to cleaning. Okay, so this car takes the title as the dirtiest engine bay in the south. All right, you guys, so this took a lot of time to do because this thing was just caked in oil everywhere. Uh, this probably took the longest because I had to keep scrubbing and all that. Some of this is stained and as rusty as hell, so I just need to strip that down and uh, repaint it. Um, I might paint it white, I might paint it black, I don't know. But as you can tell, this engine bay is like brand new. The valve covers, and stuff is still pretty dirty make sure that you don't get anything on the belt because if you get something on the serpentine belt that's like slippery liquid type it will cause it to slip off and then you don't want that because then you can have overheating problems and you wouldn't have 
power steering or anything like that so there's a lot of stuff that i missed because it's just too dirty and you know i'll be getting it here in the next couple of videos maybe i don't know i might do another video on this but as you can tell this thing is like brand new almost <laughs> so i had to put a lot of on the roll on it because if not this thing was just not gonna look so that is all that i have for this video if you guys did enjoy it be sure to leave a thumbs up let me know that you guys are liking my content let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below and uh, subscribe to the channel turn on bell notification follow me on instagram I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.